Leonardo DiCaprio and Camila Marone have broken up. The 47-year-old actor and 25-year-old model are going their separate ways after four years of dating. A source confirmed the split to E.T., explaining they've been spending a lot of time apart this summer and doing their own things. See, I'm romantic in a different way, you know? <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm not exactly like I'll show up with a new car or, you know, <laughs> climb up to her room or anything like that. And that romantic young Leo went on to have many high-profile relationships. From Giselle Boonchin <laughs> to Bar Raffaele. But when it came to his romance with Camila, they kept things on the down low. The pair was first linked in December 2017, and for years, they made not a single public appearance together. Jump to 2020, and Leo and Camila finally made their debut as a couple sitting together at the Oscars. But they walked the carpet separately. All I have to say, there's a lot harder jobs in the world <laughs> than doing than doing what I do, and if and and for the price that I have to pay is to lose some autonomy. Autonomy. That's that, that's just the way it goes. I, I'd quit if it was that big of a deal. Another part of their relationship that fascinated fans: their 23-year age gap. Camila was 20 when she began dating Leo. He turned 43 that year. Things are going to be said no matter what about you, and there's no, there's no control you can really, the only thing you can sort of control is, you know, that I can sort of control is what I want to do as an actor, you know what I mean, where I want to go with my career. But the model didn't stay quiet when the trolls attacked. I just read some of the comments on my Instagram, and my God, people are so mean and like full of anger with people that they know nothing about. And uh, I guess I just hope on this Friday that people learn to uh, live with a little less hatred. Leo and Camila seemingly pushed past what people had to say. And when the pandemic came in 2020, it only seemed to strengthen their relationship. A source told ET at the time they were very much in love and Camila's Leo's dream girl. What keeps me grounded is, uh, you know, I'm sure everyone says the same thing when, when they get asked that question, but the truth is it, is it is my friends and family and being able to joke around with them, have a sense of humor about everything. And that, that kind of, that world and be able, being able to have the sanctity of people that you know and love and trust around you really does make you safe, feel safe in this sort of environment, because it is kind of insane sometimes. And Camila, an actress who grew up with Al Pacino as her stepdad, also knows a thing or two about navigating life in the spotlight. I, I was fortunate in the sense that I grew up in Hollywood, so I feel like I, I saw a lot of that and I was exposed to that at a very young age, but I didn't feel overwhelmed when I got into this industry because my parents were actors, I, I grew up in Hollywood, so so I, I was very exposed to it, more so than if I had come from a different country or a small town. So I feel that I got a little bit of an, an extra foot in the door because I, I knew what I was getting myself into. 